Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Anodyne 2 Return to Dust. Uh, I have played the, thir the first Anodyne, it was kind of like a super weird version of Link's Awakening, a whole bunch of like, it's kind of Yume Nikki kind of bizarre stuff happening in the different worlds you visited. Um, it definitely reminded me a lot of Yume Nikki, but yeah, it was, it was like Link's Awakening meets that game. So this one I think is more of a, is, I haven't actually finished Anodyne 1. Um, I got stuck, I think, on basically the last boss. Uh, at least it seems like the last boss, because the game is pretty hard. Um, so this one hopefully will not require me to have played the first one. Um, I think it's like not only a different game, but a different kind of game. I think this one's like a 3D platformer or something. Um, I'm not totally sure. We're going to start it up and have a look, but yeah, Anodyne 2, Return to Dust. Bloop. <laughs> Ratalika games? Made with Unity. I've heard that can make some games. Although it's, you know, like a proprietary thing, it's not super great. Analgesic Productions. A Mi Milos Hantani and Marina Kitanka game, I think it said? It was a bit quick. Anodyne 2, Return to Dusk. Oh, Kitaka, sorry. It was a little too quick for me. Uh, so I think that's our character in the bubble there, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, this game is already in widescreen. The Anodyne 1, um, there was a button to put it into widescreen, but it came out like it ran in 4x3 by default. Uh, Sort of like, um, sort of like Game Boy games on a Game Boy Advance. You could toggle them into a full screen mode if you wanted, but it just basically stretched everything. Um, so that's interesting that they've decided uh, not to go with that aesthetic anymore for this one. Just gonna turn the sound down a tiny bit. There we go. Uh, settings? I'm gonna assume the defaults are fine. Oh, neat, look, accessibility, invincibility, 100%. Uh, skip dialogue for speedruns. Rotation strength. Okay, I don't really know what to expect here, but... Can I change these? I can't change the controls, I can just see what they are. Alright. If I go load game... Uh, yes? That doesn't work, it defaulted to load game for some reason, which is interesting. New game, file 1. Yes. You can use the D-pad or the analog stick for the menus, by the way. I tried both. A warm breeze fills the air. A paper floats by and comes to rest on the ground. It is a letter. It reads... Summer, 2019. Dear player, Thank you for playing Anodyne 2 Return to Dust. It is somewhat of a spiritual successor. It has narrative and thematic ties to the first... Oh. First Anodyne, but features a completely new world and characters. That is to say, the two games can be enjoyed in any order. Well, that's good, because as I mentioned, I haven't finished the first one, I didn't want to spoil anything. At times, the world of Anodyne 2 may be a strange or confusing place, but at its heart is a story of human struggles and relationships. Now, come on, let's go on a curious and wonderful journey together. Milos Hantani and Marina Kitanka. Kitaka, sorry. Okay, so the the creators of the story literally wrote a letter to me, the player, at the start? That's an interesting way of starting your game. Uh, figure with stringed instrument. Some say that life is a circle. Madness. All things grow from a point, a center. Everything to come was already here. It melts out from a tiny capsule, like a sponge in bloom. The beauty is to witness the true shape of the primordial point, its fractals unfurled to their limits, the atomic, indivisible tips of its tentacles. Time, after all, is a looking glass, an illusion, and yet the truest way to see ourself. Okay. <laughs> Figure with beautiful voice. Stunning words as always, friend, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. The one we are here to meet is ba barely a baby, not yet hatched. We must lead her gently into the bright light of the world. Oh look, our precious Nova seems to be stirring. The following are the first words that Nova will ever hear. 
In time, the contents of the speech will fade into obscurity, but she will never forget first hearing this voice. Ah, yes, this voice! So fragrant, so beautiful that Nova felt like crying. Had she been blessed with tear ducts, perhaps she would have. You may have forgotten how hard it is when you first realise that you exist. Nova certainly felt that now, but when she heard this creature speak, she thought, perhaps it might be worth it. This game's writing, my goodness. Like, I normally get excited about writing being, you know, really funny, but, and silly and stuff, but this is, this is something. <laughs> Nova, Nova, can you hear me? Take a deep breath, my darling, then open your eyes. From the darkness, an orange glow, and from the silence, the crashing of waves. Press Y, talk? Okay, I'm pressing Y right now, and I think this is probably Nova? There she is! Still a little woozy, are you? Don't worry, it's natural to feel disoriented when you first gain consciousness. Child, your name is Nova, and you are an extraordinary creature with the unique ability to shrink to microscopic sizes. It will come in quite handy, as you'll soon see. My name is Palisade, and I'm here with C. Psalmist. Together, we will serve as your caretakers and your guides. Palisade the Shield? That sweet voice. Definitely lifts. <laughs> We'll fight for you. C. Psalmist, the musician. Dedicated songwriter. Awkward around kids. Kind of a nerd. Mummies? Caretakers and guides. Would you like to say hello to Nova, C. Psalmist? Um, uh, greetings, young Nova. It is I, C. Psalmist. I am speaking to you from outside of your egg. Um, ahem. <clears throat> Space, after all, is an illusion. It could be likened to a looking glass. A looking glass is a mirror, by the way. Uh, I used to think it was a telescope or a microscope. You know, a, some kind of tube-shaped object. Thank you for that enlightening clarification, C. Psalmist. Now, Nova, as C. Psalmist mentioned, you are currently inside of your egg. In order to hatch and truly begin your life, you will ride the hatch line monorail that leaves from the top of the hill. Ah, but you can only leave if you obtain the sacred Glandiloc Seed. For now, you may think of the Glandiloc Seed as your ticket to ride. First, speak to the three yoke figures. Each yoke will give you a special item that will prepare you to host a Glandiloc Seed. Then, speak to the Shalazar Tree at the highest point on the island. Go get him, Nova. Use L to move around left stick, I assume. Use right stick to move the camera, and ZL, ZR to change the camera distance. Press A to jump. You can jump a second time while in midair. After a jump, keep holding A to slow your fall. To change controls, graphics quality, and gameplay options, press plus to open the pause menu. Sorry to tell you that all at once. If you forget anything, check the settings menu's controls section. The Albumen Shore. Okay, uh, so this, men this menu looks quite, uh, similar to the one from the previous game. It's prettier, it's using like a higher resolution, but you got the cards section, you got the inventory section, uh, info like that, uh, what's this thing? The latest model of Nano Vacuum with a default canister capacity of 60 dust units. There are etchings on it saying, say to the art, and something about four easy monthly payments. I'm not really seeing any options about the graphics. I guess I could mess with the field of view, but I'm not really interested. Okay. Okay, so I am Nova. Can I walk in this water? Uh, yep, I can. Not very far, though. Yeah, I have a double jump, and I have, like, a sort of glide move if I hold the button. Okay, B button does nothing, Y button does nothing, X button. X button makes me shoot out little bolts, so I guess I have an attack already? Uh, yeah, I can zoom the camera in and out, and look around. This, uh, pixely aesthetic, it sort of reminds me of, um, Darwinia, maybe? I liked that game. Boop. The strange figure is silent. 
Is it alive? Nova wonders. Nonetheless, its gaze beckons to her. Into my round golden pate, it seems to say, you shall find a part of this complete breakfast. The yoke and Nova's fate begin to resonate. The presence of a new nanopoint is in the air. Spark this being and reveal this nanopoint. Shrink forth, nanocleaner Nova. Interact with the environment by firing off a spark. Press X to shoot a spark at the yolk. You can enter the nanopoint by shooting the spark repeatedly. Oh, I see. So now I'm shrunk down inside that thing's head? Okay. So, yeah, like I mentioned for the first game, these games are weird. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're now, we're now playing a bit of a top-down thing. Okay. Uh, I can move with the D-pad or with the analog stick. Hello. Yoke one to the Yolk Probe. Wowee, our very own cleaner has come to visit. Oh gosh, oh gosh, and I'm the first nano friend she'll see. Boy howdy, gotta keep it together and remember my lines. I hope she comes over here and presses Y to talk to me. What does this say? Welcome! Rocks are surprisingly diverse and come in a number of shapes and sizes, though by divine fate, many of the rocks here look the same. Be sure to talk to all of us. Uh, I can't jump anymore? Uh, I can- I can use my little vacuum cleaner with the- with the X button. Hey there, Nova! You've shrunk inside the microscopic interior of the yolk of yummy, the most important yolk of the day. Here you'll find provisions to keep your future glandalox seed happy and healthy. Cool. Um, here's a checkpoint. These checkpoints look exactly like they did in the first game. Yummy yolk probe. Nova will love our centerberry burst cereal because it contains trace amounts of 17 micronutrients in center recommended ratios. And Glandalox Seed will love its patented, crunchy, cool taste. Alright. This is a weird game. <laughs> hmm, what if we had a Glandalox Seed of our very own? Eep! Never mind me, we may talk a big game in here in the Yolk of Yummy, but the development of delicious and nutritious Crispy Puff comestibles is all we know. Okay, I can push these around. And I can read this. There are some colourful rock-like obstructions blocking your path. Try using your nano vacuum to suck stuff out of the way. Hold X to suck in objects. Press X to shoot them back out. Oh, I see. Pew. 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 Okay, so... I can do that. A bit of a Kirby. Sis. Sometimes rocks get in the way, but other times they can be... Very helpful. Don't paint every rock with a broad but brush is all I'm saying. Unless you paint them really cool. A lady at my church painted a rock so it looked like a tiger with little whiskers and everything. Pretty neat. Okay, so you can shoot the rocks at each other and that blows them up. As well, which is nice. Maybe a little effect. Hello. Congratulations, you are truly deserving of our great, greatest A Glandalock food. Cartoon characters will suffer many fraught encounters due to the high quality of our Centerberry Burst cereal. We can tell you will be a good steward of your Glandalock seed. Uh, alright. I don't know what a Glandalock seed is, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Sorry, um, the HDMI going into my TV is playing up, so I'm having a little trouble playing the game right now. <laughs> uh, let me see. Maybe we should just pause the recording. Yeah, I'll do that. Recording pausing. Right, sorry for the small disruption there. Uh, let's continue. I guess I'll grab what this thing is, whatever this thing is. Nova found the Centerberry Burst Cereal, one of the three elements of nurturing. With it, a Glandalock seed will have all the carbs it needs to make a home in Nova's head. Okay. So we're gonna go back into this radio world again? 
This is a strange game. <laughs> the Albion Shore. Alright, so if I... Okay, yeah, I have sent a very cereal. With this cereal, a gland loxy will have all the carbs... Yeah, I read that already. Same information again. Alright, so... I guess I want to go to the other 2D areas... ...in the same way? The second yoke figure sways in the breeze with a profound sense of chill. Dude, it seems to say, riding the milky waves. The yoke and nervous faith begin to resonate. The presence of a new nanopoint is in the air. Spark this being, reveal its nanopoint. Shrink forth, nano cleaner nova. Yeah, I'm smashing the X button when that happens. I don't know if this is like masking a loading screen or if it's just always the same length. Yoke of Sippy. Yo, Nova, welcome to the Yoke of Sippy. Some people say that a glandalox seed ought to drink eight dro dewdrops of our homemade Sippy yolk milk per cell cycle, but we here in the Sippy Zone think you can chill with the math and just go with the flow. Checkpoint. The glandalox seed is like a direct line to the center, you dig? Just keep your mind open, you know? And the answers will find you. What's this say? Wanted, dust virus, Mr. Spikey. He made us sit there, but this virus has been shouting some very rude comments at our poor Yolkrobes. Try shooting a block at him, and be sure to suck up any dust you might leave behind. Uh, okay, I got some dust. I'm not really sure what that does, but... Seems like it's an important part of the game. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing like a little sippy yolk milk to make those glandalock tendrils grow deep and strong. Just ride that high, Nova. Ride that high. Wanted dust virus, mild-tempered slime. Don't be fooled by their adorable gooey exteriors. If left unchecked, these pesky ruffians can cause serious illness in the body of their host. Unlike Mr. Spiky, they are safe to vacuum up. Okay, I guess I've got a bit more dust now. I don't really know what that does yet. Hello. Nova, you made it to the yolk milk, of course. You just relaxed and let it flow, am I right? Sure. Nova found the sippy yolk milk, one of the three elements of nurturing. With it, a glandaloxy will have all government approved nutrients needed to spread far and wide inside Nova's head. This is kind of concerning. Like, is, is, is a glandaloxy like a ghoul or something? Like some sort of parasite? <laughs> hmm. Can I grab these ledges to get up there, or is it doesn't look like it? Okay. Gotta follow the corridor for now. Camera's pretty decent, just goes all over the place wherever you want it to. And it's defaulting to the way I like. You push up to look up, push down to look down, that kind of thing. I'm never sure if that's inverted or not inverted, but it's what I like. The final yoke figure seems to gaze upon Nova with a warm yet analytical eye. Ah, hmm. Yes, 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 it seems to say. A perfect host in need of a perfect reguloid. The yoke and Nova's faith begin to resonate. The presence of a new nanopoint is in the air. Spark this being a realist nanopoint. Shrink forth, nanocleaner Nova. Off we go. So... I don't know if there'll be stuff to fight in the 3D parts of the game, or if it's like, you only see monsters when you've nanopointed into something, and then it becomes similar to Awakening again. Because this is pretty much what the first game looked like, it had this sort of art style. Welcome to the Yoke of Cozy. Yes, yes. Are you feeling comfortable? Yes, yes. We have carefully trained these reguloids to adapt the local atmosphere to your body's precise partialities. Temperature, salinity, acidity, lugubrity, and so forth. What's lugubrity? <laughs> Hello. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. A little cereal, a little yolk milk? Yes, such things are quite necessary. However, 
As the old saying goes, Glandaloxy cannot live on ingestion alone. Uh, what's this thing? Is that an enemy? Woof, 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 translation. I just want to help Nova. I'm no dust virus. Oh, that's a regaloid. Okay, can I talk to it? Temperature, 36 degrees. Y'all can hide. <laughs> uh, which way do I want to go first? Looks like there's a bit of a split path here. Oh. Ouch, watch it, you're gonna chip my paint. If you want me to open, take out your aggression on the dust viruses instead. I mean, I'll show a dust virus at you, but alright. <laughs> oh, I see, I'm gonna have to go around all the way to get rid of everything. The music's nice. Ooh, this is interesting. A chasm separates you and those darn dust viruses. You're too far away to suck them up, but perhaps there is another way to get rid of them? Pew! Easy peasy. Hello, little regaloid. Air humidity level 5%. Success rate for a fish trying to breathe. Oh, 5% success rate for a fish trying to breathe, I see. So it's quite humid. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Yeah, I already saw the gate talking. It looks like a skip message shows up if you uh, see a message you've already seen, which is nice. Ooh. I think you move a little slower when you've sucked up something in your vacuum. Just a little bit. Ah, yes, yes, indeed. It is time for you to have regaloids of your own. How beautiful to become a home. May your head always be a safe and warm resting place for the precious Glandalox seed. Yes, yes, yes. Golden summer light, dappled by oak leaves, the scent of freshly bruised crabgrass and dandelions. An unexpected cool breeze drifts in from across the lake. A tawny rabbit sits up and sniffs before hopping into the bushes. Nova found a reguloid, personal edition, another one of the three elements of nurturing. This reguloid will adapt to Nova's head into the perfect environment for a thriving glandalock seed. This is a weird game, y'all. <laughs> Having fun though. Oh, oh this is a save point. Your game was successfully saved. So this little eggy thing, that's a save point. Okay. I'm gonna talk to the tree up here, right? Ah, uh, Nova. Hmm, after all this time, we meet at last. Ah. Hmm, Nova. Ugh, what were we talking about? All oh, right, I am the ancient Shalaza tree. Chalaza tree? Keeper of the sacred knowledge of the Albumen shore. From the day you washed up on our shores, I have chronicled your journey, and oh, what a journey it has been. Reflect with me upon those sweet and daring stories that now drift upon the hazy river of the past. Do you remember the blustery, cereal-obsessed yoke of yummy inhabitants? The laid-back denizens of the yoke of Sippy? How about those kind and conscientious caretakers of the yoke of Cozy? Ah, I have laughed, I have cried, I have prayed for wisdom to bless your decisions. Your thunderous triumph and your arduous struggles shall be etched into my branches for all eternity. And now, you've arrived here at the pinnacle of Mount Vi 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 Vitelline? Vitelline? From which one can survey the furthest reaches of this expansive land. Have you the three elements of nurturing? Ah, wonderful. Then my epoch of anticipation is complete. Nova, I grant you the Glandalock Seed. So it's that thing? Oh, I see. And now, Nova, it is time. Already I can feel my power fading. The age of albumen draws to a close. Quickly, Nova, lay yourself down upon the hatch line, and with the last of my energy, I will send you to the great beyond. Would you? 
seems to have happened automatically. I didn't do anything to make her. Anodyne 2, Return to Dust. Okay, so that was my egg. Now, I mean, I have no control over the camera here, which is interesting. It feels a bit like Final Fantasy VII now. I have camera control again. Center Sanctuary. Nova, you made it! I'll tell you about that device soon, but for now, come over to me for a quick chat. There you are, darling hatchling. I knew you could make it. Welcome to Alive! Nova, you're in Center Sanctuary, the dwelling place of the Center. The Center is... well, it's hard to explain to someone who's only just hatched, isn't it? The Center is the Center. It created all of us, along with our world, the island of New Zealand. The center is like an artist, and we are its painting, a beautiful expression of its vision. The center is everything, or rather, the center simply is. Our lives are like shadows cast by the center's true form, which will one day become apparent. The center. It's the center. Creator of New Zealand. Painter slash shadow puppeteer? Literally everything? M mummy figure beyond comprehension. Hmm, perhaps we are all the artists and art of New Zealand. We shape and are shaped by each other. By treating our neighbours with kindness, we can build each other up. Um, well, I don't know if I would go that far, Palisade. What good we may accomplish flows directly from the rightness at the centre. Regardless, we must focus. Nova, listen closely. I will now reveal to you your true purpose and the path ahead. You have been born in a, into a war zone, Nova. Granted, it is not a contest of swords or guns, of armies or infantry. We wage a war that is nearly invisible and yet wholly insidious. We face a deadly force that wrinkles the face of time as a lurking water beast ripples the surface of a lake, disrupting the clear reflection of our souls. We call it Nanodust. Start small, a microscopic seed planted in some dark, moist corner of one's organs. Then the nanodust grows, it feeds upon the structure of our minds, magnifying our fears, our wrath, our wrongful desires. Eventually it blossoms to its full scale, completely obliterating the identity of its host. Symmetry, beautiful symmetry, is our birthright as creations of the centre, and yet we lose ourselves in the dust. We begin to decay, to decompose, to crumble. Dust begets dust, and we forsake our true selves. Nova, perhaps your true purpose is now becoming apparent. You were given the ability to shrink and to clean, so that you may reverse the tide of dust that threatens to overwhelm us. You must travel far and wide, shrinking inside the inhabitants of New Zealand, those most consumed by the dust's contamination. You... Suddenly, a tiny spark flies toward Nova's head. What's that? Palisade card. Activate. Palisade creates a barrier using her shield, containing the spark in a glowing cube. A nano-intruder, attempting to infiltrate your body. Nova, I can contain it temporarily, but you must shrink to nanoscale and destroy it. Don't be afraid, sweetheart. I'll be right here. I know you can do it. In we go. First boss. Oh, it's different. Because instead of going into an egg, we're going into a little cube or whatever that Palisades created. Drifting Pollen. Okay, yep, yeah, looks very different. Checkpoint. Ow! Okay, don't do that. Dusty Yolkrop. Nova, is that you? <coughs> How did I get here? <coughs> I 
Nano Assassin. <clears throat> Nova will die. The center will crumble. Dust will consume New Zealand. <clears throat> So you don't have a basic attack in this game, which is interesting. Uh, in the first game, you had like a broom, and you could hit things with the broom, or you could actually like pick up dust with the broom. It looks like they think dust is an interesting uh, aesthetic, because both games have had something to do with it. Nova will die, the center will crumble, dust will consume New Zealand. Go off, I guess. The Nano Cleaner. She exists, and she was born to dust, to clean, to rescue. May she protect all of us from harm. May the Nano Cleaner save New Zealand and its denizens from their fate. Okay. I guess that was the first boss. <laughs> Wasn't super hard. I did take a few hits, but no big deal. You're growing up so quickly. I didn't expect a challenge like this for quite some time, but I am so proud of you. Sadly, there are those who would seek to destroy New Zealand. Though we are all created by the center, the nanodust can inflict a kind of madness. Now, perhaps, you can see the urgency of your mission. Nova, take the elevator behind you up to the city, and always remember that you stand against the ever-encroaching crawl of degradation. Okay, now let's look at these machines first. Can I look at them now? The dust prism allows the nanodust to collect to blossom safely. Once it has blossomed, the clouds of dust can be recycled into energy by the center. Unfortunately, the dust prism was weakened by a great storm and cannot hold its full capacity of nanodust. That was before your time, little munchkin. Please collect rare cards to reinforce the dust prism. Welcome to the prism reinforcement device, nanocleaner Nova. Please insert the cards you have collected so that the dust prism may be expanded. It would appear you don't have enough card power to increase the prism's size. Nova, return with at least four cards. Okay, I haven't got any cards yet. Uh, what's this thing over here, though? That's the lower dust drop, Nova. It'll sh I'll show you how to use it soon, but first, take the elevator outside. Okay, I guess I'll use that later. Uh, this way? Nova presses the console, and it lights up and whirs. Next stop, Center City C-Note. Welcome to Center City C-Note, a vibrant community built into the walls of this sacred geological depression. Directly above Center Sanctuary is the Dust Prism, which stores the nanodust you will collect. You may use the dust drop console in Center Sanctuary to deposit dust. Once sealed within the dust prism, the nanodust may blossom to its full scale without harming New Zealand. Once enough dust is accumulated in the dust prism, it will be sent to the center to be recycled into energy. But alas, before you were born, the dust prism was damaged in a terrible storm, and now it can only contain a small fraction of its full dust capacity. Because it was energy short, the dust's dominion has advanced to the point where it is no longer safe to leave the city. You can see the storm still raging out of the head. This is where you come in, Nova. The dust prison can be reinforced with rare and powerful cards that you can find while nano cleaning. Your first goal is to reinforce the prison with four cards and fill it with 100 cc's of nano dust. Then the center will be able to recycle the dust into energy and push back the storm, allowing you to leave Center City C Note. To sum it up, your mission is to search the city for people in need of cleaning, collect the dust and cards inside of them, then deposit those resources back in Center Sanctuary. Check your progress on the menu by pressing plus. You're gonna do an amazing job, Nova. Okay, so the save point. Thank you, little save point. Taking too long to get around, Nova? Now that you're out in the open, try using your ride scale form to zoom around the city. Press R to enter and exit ride scale form. Hold A to accelerate. Hold B or move back to reverse. Press X to engage cruise control. There are some places you cannot enter ride scale. If you're using a controller, it is highly recommended to use A to accelerate. If you forget a control, you can double check them in the settings menu. Oh yes, Nova, one more thing. Sometimes if you talk to people twice, they have new things to say. Be sure to talk often. Okay, so ride scale is, yeah, I turned to a little car. <laughs> <Ba -choo. laughs> That's fun.
Hello. Dust, dust, dirty dust, clean behind your ears, you must. If you don't, you will die. Dust, dust, dirty dust. I don't know if that was a great chant, but alright. Hello. Ooh, I finally made it outside of those maze-like alleys. Huh? You're about to go in there? Sounds crazy, but I suppose you are the nano cleaner. If you're looking to clean, perhaps you should follow the mud. Let's go for a little drive. As a little ride scale. Let's talk to these people here before we forget. Hmm, I don't know how to sit on this bench. Yeah, you do have an interesting number of legs going on there. <laughs> Hello. So, how about this dust storm we've been having? Sure is some weather, huh? Really, Shelly, you know how I despise small talk? I prefer to discuss the socio-cultural impacts of the current meteorological phenomena, which prevents departure from Center City C-Note. Hello. Ah, don't you just love these beautiful white trees? Their pure serene dignity reminds me of the ancient stone statues which have never painted any gaudy colours. I mean, it's possible the paint just wore off like with real statues. When the fog descends in the sea note and you look from here, the lake appears infinite as the horizon fades to fog. Feels like I'm right near the ocean. Ah. <sighs> so anyone I can I can dust. I haven't found people that need dusting yet. Whoa, it's really you, Nova the Nano Cleaner. Talk to me again, I'll tell you a fun fact. Your nano vacuum holds 60 units of dust. The blue bar in the pause menu shows how much you have. Just press plus to view it. Also, deposit your dust in center sanctuary whenever it's getting full. Okay. Um. Who, do you need help? These hills get bigger every year. Now I just can't make the walk anymore. I always told myself, distance is no bother. I can make the hike through the hills. It's no problem if it means seeing my dear friend. And yet, life conspires once again to separate us. First different schools, then different jobs, and then different places to live. Nova, I know you must be busy, but if you have the chance, could you bring this package to my dear friend? She lives on the outskirts of a farming village, about outside of C-Note. She'll be in her home. Note received a neatly tied package with a cream-coloured bow. Once you deliver it, please let me know. Thank you so much. Oh, Nova, please bring that package as soon as you can. My friend lives on the outskirts of a farming village and is doing well. Okay. Do you need my help? Oh, are you Nova, the nano cleaner saving the world from the nano dust? Amethia, who are you talking to? N Nova, you're the nano cleaner? I think my daddy's starstruck. I believe in you, I really, really do. Daddy, look, she's the nano cleaner. She can save anything. Maybe. That's enough, Am Amethia. We can't be putting our personal worries on her. I'm sure she's very busy. Let's go for a little drive. I make videos about video games, but it's hard. It's not just fame and rainbows. No one was watching my videos until I made suffer at the latest Big World series installment. Oh, it's me. <laughs> I'm a mole tuber. <laughs> hmm, prune crackers, prune crackers. Boy, the graphic design and product packaging sure has gone downhill since my day. It always looks like a blur of colors. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Sure, where I'm intended to go apart from just talking to everyone. I guess the, the alleyways that guy was talking about? Over here, I think. There's some mud. Can I get through here? Yeah, I think I can jump over there. Uh, oh, let's go this way. This looks a bit more interesting. Okay, so we got a bit of a, a bit of basic platforming going on here. Hello. If only I had a football made of my own skin, and it could never truly be pulled away from me. Uh. This place is weird. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Have you ever heard of the rooting reflex? If you touch a baby on the cheek, they will cheer for the home team. 
A malaise rests upon my children like a shroud of sludgery. Please, I request you listen to each of my children and return to me. Oh, I probably need to, to like clean them out, right? Good grief, I can't stand it. Day after day, the same food in the same dish. Happiness is a warm puddle. Uh, that's all of them, right? Nova, thank you for listening to my children. The great squirming creature hangs its head and speaks in a low rumble. Oh, the mud feels cool and calm into our skin, prickled as we are by fever and eczema. In this dark and still corner of the alleys, Nova hears the soft squishing sounds of the noms writhing and turning. She shivers at the faint groans they emit while pressing their delicate pink skins into the muck. Now the great Gwen lifts its head and stares off at an imaginary horizon, tears glistening in the corners of her eyes. I hear a distant echo from the past, the shadow of a misremembered song, she says, slowly growing in intensity. We Gwoms were once proud and beautiful, she proclaims, or else the center would never have created us. And the great Gwom turns to Nova and says, It is the dust. The dust has caused us to forget ourselves. Now all we have left is to ease our discomfort by rolling in the filth. Please, Nano Cleaner Nova, clean us so we understand the center's plan once again. The air is thick with the presence of nano dust. Nova! Spark this being and forge a connection. Clean them and change their fate. Shrink forth, Nano Cleaner Nova. Uh, does that work for all of them, which is the big one? Probably just the big one. In we go. Oh. What, what's happening? Nanodust is pushing Nova away from the cleanie. Colored bullets will arc as you approach the key cleanie. Use L to activate Nova's shield according to when you feel the attack is coming from. Feel the directions. Feel the colors. Good luck. Oh, I see. It's like a mini sort of rhythm game thing. made it. Tardigrade amnesia in the lower levels of the brain like shameful secrets. This game is so weird. <laughs> Wait, Guam. Okay, so we're allowed to leave whenever we want, because that portal takes us out. Uh, we won't just yet though, let's head on in. map in the corner. I didn't notice that until just now. Neat. I like maps. Can I suck up these projectiles? No. I might head back to the checkpoint. Oh gosh. Enemies respawn. I don't know if we'll be able to jump in this game. You can jump in the first one. So it would probably make sense, but I don't know if it'll happen. Okay, yeah, let's head right back to the checkpoint. Ow. So we're taking a lot of hits here. I believe it heals you? Yeah, it does. Good. Just like in the first game. Okay, uh, got some ladders. Uh, what's going on here? It's just like real dark. Okay, I'm a little confused. Oh right, I can't get past these things, so I've got to 
go down. Oh, okay. And this one has some enemies. Let's get rid of them. Okay, and then I'm on this side. I see how we're doing things here. Oh, and these switches were definitely in the first game. So yeah, they've taken a lot of the same ideas that were in the first game, but there's this extra layer of super weirdness, and it's great. And I'm enjoying that. I don't really get how these guys work yet. I think if you step on them, you can just, yeah, you can just walk over them. Okay. Interesting. Not really sure if this is where I'm supposed to go first, but it's going okay. Oh, you can't bring an enemy from one screen to the next by sucking him up. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Some dust over there. Watch out for these project projectiles from a projectile fellow. Press this button. Okay. I'm making progress. Uh, we have to actually defeat these guys, so let's do it. I think the little diamond can heal you. That, that drops when you defeat some enemies. I think. I'm not super sure. <laughs> oh, honey, I told you. If we're going to get away from the city, then we ought to go all the way. If only you had that promotion. All the neighbourhoods we could have chosen from. What? Mama, why is there a stranger at dinner today? Shall I fetch the gun? Oh, okay, so these guys are talking to me as I suck them up. Papa, ought we to call the police? Darling wifey dear, so you forget to lock the door? Look at the street prowl you let in. Violence is practically written onto their face. This is a strange game. Oh, I've got a picture here. Bit of dust over there we can use to top up our supplies. Oh my god. Nano assassin. Arrgh. Die. The center must be destroyed. No, Nova, destroy Nova, kill the cleaner. I'm Woods. Uh, we got some stairs. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, okay, we just absorbed a big dust. What's that gonna do? Nova. I can feel the fog lifting from my memories. I am the auger. I was created to investigate the future by saying the gambling habits of birds. <laughs> Great Glom the auger. Each and every one of us has a role to play in the grand story of New Zealand. You have shown me this, Nova. My children and I went selfish and short-sighted. We complained about our lot in life and lost sight of the creator's plan. Sorry, the center's plan. But there is a place for us after all, Nova. There will always be a place for us. Nova feels the glandalock seed pulsating inside of her. It channels the center's power, transforming the deadly dust crystal into a card. Okay, so we got a card? This one, though. And it's warping us out automatically. Cool. Can we go back in, or is it like a one-time visit thing? Congratulations on your first card, Nova. I can tell you'll be a wonderful nano cleaner for the people of New Zealand. By the way, Nova, be sure to take a break if you're feeling tired. Collecting cards is important, but so is your well-being. Yeah, it looks like I can go back in. Alright, I just wasn't sure. 
I want to make sure I didn't miss any rooms because it looked like there were some doors I didn't go into. Tardigrade Amnesia. Huh. So this... This is interesting. Um... The, the way it's segmenting the levels, it kind of reminds me of uh, that Drawn to Life game I played a few videos ago. Uh, which wasn't very good, but this one seems to be better. Let me just make sure. Okay, yeah, I've been everywhere according to the map, so that should be fine. I've got a card. Anodyne, TCG. Great, great Guam, as the proud practitioner of cold reading, it is like hot yoga, more intellectual. Neat. Okay, uh, okay, so we don't need to be here, but we can come back here if we so desire. Yes. Interesting. So, it still kind of plays like the first Anodyne, but also it doesn't. Um, because this happens. <laughs> um, and I'm really interested. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can find here in the alleyways. Uh, maybe something up there, but I can't jump that high. I don't know if I'll learn to jump high, or if it's just meant to be like an obstacle I can't get past. Let's try this way. Nothing. Okay. I like the music. Is this just a shortcut out? I think it is, but that's probably fine. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yep, there we go. I should probably drop off that dust I have, because the container's nearly full, so let's head over to the thing that lets you do that. Elevator's on, I think, this side? Yeah, there it is. Uh, down. Oh, I see, it's got an up button as well. So maybe I can go up higher? I think it was just the one button, but it's not, there's two, so maybe we can go somewhere different. Uh, I can't use the ride scale in here, but that's probably fine, not a huge deal. Um, do I want to interact with this thing to get rid of my extra dust? Greetings, Nano Cleaner Nova. Welcome to the dust drop point. Let us deposit all of the nano dust you have found. Would You've worked so hard, Nova. In fact, you have more dust than the dust prism can hold right now. For now, why don't you keep the extra dust in your tank until you find enough cards to upgrade the prism? Okay, so we need some more cards. Oh, okay, that, that thing is where the dust lives. Thank you for depositing dust, Nova. Please return soon. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing how things be. Uh, I'm guessing, like, these will open up and we'll get extra, like, cards we can take later on, but... Not just yet. Uh. Okay, let's go back to the elevator and try going up again and see what that does. Because apparently I can do that. Up. Console doesn't respond. Suddenly Palisade appears. Ah, oh, Nerve, you're trying to get out of Center City C note. Oh, that's the way out. A natural inclination for any nano cleaner. I'm afraid it's far too dangerous, though. You'll have to power the center with dust and cards before the outside atmosphere can be purified. So I guess I need to breathe. Like, I think I'm some kind of robot, but I, a robot that still needs to breathe. Uh, let's see. Can I go into that building? Looks like no. Hello. Ah, the official building. Remember doing official things in here and wearing official clothing. It's closed now. <laughs> no more officials. <laughs> oh, that's a bit sad. Uh, what we got here? Oh, hello. What's this? Something kind of dark and hard to see. Can't move the camera, by the way. A lump shudders softly beneath the stained and slimy bed dressings. Nova would rather not disturb the occupant and slowly backs away. Okay, I feel like they probably need to be dusted, but I can't do it. 
As Nova begins to walk away, she's startled by a sudden gruff voice. So, you're just gonna stomp through her bedroom with your muddy boots and then leave? <clears throat> Nova turns to see Mysteria Weisel's head rise from beneath the bed covers. The weary figure continues to expel harsh, wet coughs. Nova bows her head in shame and glances around frantically. It is difficult to say what mess she may have caused, so she begins to shuffle about in the tide of the room generally. Stop touching my lampshade collection, Mysteria Wisel snaps. Come over here, I need to talk to you. Do you like lampshades? <clears throat> Some of these lampshades are worth a lot of money, but who cares about money? <laughs> it's all about the artistry. You see that one? Don't touch it with your grubby little fingers. That was my grandmother's lampshade. See the exquisite lace patterning around the brim? <laughs> it's good to meet a fellow lampshade buff. You really do like lampshades, don't you? Thinking of taking one for yourself while I'm not looking, are you? Who would notice or care if you took advantage of a miserable, weak old coot? That's what you're thinking, aren't you? No, I wanna, I wanna like possess you and help you. They don't make lampshades like these anymore. You wouldn't know. You're young and strong and you think you'll live forever. But eventually things fall apart and people leave you and they kick their your shins on the way out. They steal your lampshades. I can't even remember anymore the lampshades that are gone. Out of sight, out of mind. What is inside anymore for me? I've got a good feeling about you. I need you to do something for me. Please clean the dust from my lungs. What, do you need a lampshade in return or something? You can have the retro frill model in mint green. I've already got one of those. Have you ever nano cleaned before? Don't make it worse. The air is thick with the presence of nanodust. Nova, spark this being and forge a connection. Clean them and change their fate. Shrink forth, nano cleaner Nova. And that's what I was trying to do the whole time. It's kind of weird I had to talk to him, talk to them like four or five times. Okay, so we have this little sequence. You don't really need to know the colours, you can see what the directions are based on like the little arrow. The little um, things on the ground show you which direction to go. I can't really remember which colour is which direction, so it's good that it, it also shows that. In we go. Pneumonic possession. Toxic chemicals line the walls of the decrepit lung house, causing fits of coughing. So it's Mysteria Wiesel, yeah, it's kind of like Psychonauts, but also it's, you know, it's, it's like a Link's Awakening sort of Zelda style game. Uh, once you Psychonaut, which is interesting. Oops. Oh, just touching that dust can hurt you? Okay, did not know that. It makes sense, but I didn't realize it did that. Go this way. Button. What's this? Oh. A little key. Is it just following me around or Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Now. Can I go through here or is that no, I don't know how to get to that that other part of the room. I can go down here. Oh no, this is where I started, right? There's no connections from this room. Come with me, little key. Oh, I see. So I need to find one more to go on this side. This strange block seems to have a keyhole. And that'll open up that other one. I see. Okay. Let's go up here. It's a bit of stray dust here. Yeah, I think using the D-pad's a bit easier in this mode. Uh, you can use either, but, you know, D-pads for, you know, games working like this in two dimensions, it just sort of makes sense. Uh, what am I missing here? Oh, I see. 
Watch, there's no there's no blockage there. If I attack one of them, there is a blockage, so I need to leave them alone. Because they're little little friendly baby slimes, holding they've got like pacifiers, I think, and they've got little bows. It's pretty cute. Oh, oh, okay. So it's getting a bit more elaborate now. There we go. Uh, oh gosh. So I need to get rid of Mr. Spiky, but I need to not hurt any of these guys to do it. Like that. Interesting. Okay. Up, up, up. And that'll be the other key that we need. Ow. Yeah, the little crystal definitely heals you. Okay, key number two. Let's take it back with us. Doesn't really matter if they get hurt now, but I guess I should try to avoid it. Just out of politeness. <laughs> Let's hit the checkpoint to save our progress. We're on about an hour of play. So after finishing this brain, it's actually a lung, but you know, same basic idea. Brains are like lungs. Oh, oh, okay. That's gonna be a bit of a bit of a hassle. Uh, so just reset the room. Like that, and then like that. There we go. Okay. Ow! Okay, if I touch them, they get hurt, so... This is an interesting little bit of challenge here, I like it. Dust, you know, dust collector. Get a checkpoint. Okay, he's not nano assassin. From dust, I arise. Nova must die. The center must crumble. I'm not sure if all the bosses are just going to be nano assassins or if there's going to be other stuff as well. Because these fight more or less the same as each other. It's just a slightly different arena. I run out of things to spout it, does it like like give me more things or what? Because I am running a little low on cubes here because I keep missing. Uh, oh okay, it just drops like a rock. I've failed, but Nova will fail. The center will fail. I guess they had slightly different attack patterns, but... Eh. Okay, let me get rid of the big dust crystal here. You don't know what it's like to have a life and then see it crumble before your eyes. That's what the dust does. It grows and grows by eating up who you were meant to become. Nova, you've done a good thing here. My lungs are much better now. I may be able to finish writing my lampshade book now. Did you ever clean the dirt? Clean up the dirt you tracked into my bedroom? You know, the center itself once sent me a special lampshade with unbelievable symmetry in recognition of my work cataloging and appreciating lampshades. Thank you, Nova. I really appreciate what you've done here. I mean it sincerely. You have any lampshade you like. Well, as long as it's the Retro Frail Model in mid green. I've already got one of those, see? Thank you, Nova. Goodbye. Let's grab the card. Off we go. Alright, that's two cards. We, we need four in order to make the, the center more powerful or whatever. Wow, that's two out of four cards that will need to love up the dust prism. Oh, Nova. 
Oh, Nova, you're hurt. Nova quickly straightens her posture and shakes her head no. Please don't push yourself too hard. You are still so young. Remember, I'll be around since Sanctuary if you ever need me. While you're there, you can deposit your stored dust and leave with a spring in your step. It's better not to carry out a full tank for any longer than you need to. Um... Well, I mean, I can't deposit it because I, the, I don't have any room in the big big repository until I get more cards. Um, let's look at the card we just got, though. Anodyne TCG! The body is like a lampshade. Our true light is constrained and dimmed by physical forms, and yet these same forms allow us to look at and touch each other. Life is a cruel joke. So which is the mint green one that I'm allowed to take? <laughs> uh, is it down here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Well, um, that's about an hour, so... Yeah, this game, it plays roughly the same as the first one, but also it doesn't. It's very interesting. Oh, hello. Hello, you're large. What's going on here? Hello. Welcome to part 3 of the C-Note Tour. I'm my own landmark, I'm the big boy of C-Note. By finding me, you will have prosperity for the next year. Well actually, I'm here to show you C-Note Wall, the bluish grey one. Not the one behind me. This wall defies physics. This wall defies, in fact you can jump up it even if you are not athletically endowed. Truly a testament to living beings endless determination to overcome challenges, even if a while on the other side has no material value. Oh I see. It's just like a wall that makes you float. That's a bit weird. Okay, yeah, there's nothing up here. As Big Boy pointed out. I wonder if that's a glitch or if that they like decided to write into the game once they noticed it instead of fix it. It seems like the kind of thing they would do based on what I'm seeing about this game. Uneek! I used to hear creepy coughing coming from this building, but not anymore. I'm all good. Unspooked kid. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so yeah, this game, Anodyne 2. Um, if you like playing, you know, sort of a Link's Awakening style of, of top-down Zelda game, but you also want a 3D platformer, this game is both of those things, apparently. Why would you come here to my hideaway? You're trying to stoke my rage and turn me into a disgusting monster. Can I? No, I can't spark you. I think I need to talk to them first, but I'm guessing I can spark them and make them feel better. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, I'm really liking this game so far. Uh, I was expecting it to be less similar to the first game. Like, from what I'd seen, I only knew about this, like, 3D low poly sort of stuff. I was not aware that part of the game is just, you know, you go into people's, like, bodies or whatever and then it becomes literally the same as the first game. <laughs> but it's fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, and you know, I enjoyed the first game as well, so it's nice to play another one that's similar but also probably weirder. Uh, this one, it seems to be uh, unafraid to be more strange than the first one, which is nice. I, I like that. Can I do something by climbing up there? Hang on. Mm, I should be able to make that. It does look quite far, but maybe, hmm. No, I don't think I can reach that. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, next time, we'll do something else. But yeah, this game... It's, it's yeah, it's Anodyne 1 with an extra dose of super weird, and also a female protagonist, instead of some random dude. And honestly, Nova is probably a more interesting character as well. Like, there's not really much to it. Can I go down here? Oh, okay. I see. Like, um, neither neither game's protagonist had much, like, personality or anything, but Nova's got, like, an interesting backstory, which is better than nothing. <laughs> 
Oh gosh. I'm just gonna chuck down a save over here. I think it probably auto saves when I like get a card or whatever, but just to be sure. Tile screen. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's Anodyne too. Uh, bye. <laughs>